Hello, Star Wars fans! This is Andy Teshordo. Today, instead of doing a Star Wars Galaxy Hero video, well, I'm going to still be doing a few, but this video is going to be talking about the current, uh, well, not really current, but uh, what, what's to happen with the animated series. So far, as you can see, we've had only two animated series so far. Star Wars Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. You know, they were great. Um, yes, I know they were more... Huh, sorry, they are more for young teens and children. But they got their point across as, you know, telling a story. You know, maybe not, maybe not movie-like or maybe not... Um, uh, you know, the way that some people wanted it, but it still told the story and it improved from 2000, I think it was like eight or nine when they did the Clone Wars movie all the way up to current show of Rebels. And, you know, Dave Filoni's been working on it and a few other people have still been working on it. But yeah, it's, I, I think it's been great to add to the Star Wars. Yes, I will say there are some people, and I myself included, have you know got annoyed with the Clone Wars retcon of a few different characters like Asajj Ventress's backstory, even though I really not particularly care about her. Darth Maul's backstory was kind of changed a bit, for better or for worse. You know, you have your opinions on that. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> um, and uh, I think the biggest thing that was retcon, which I really hated. Uh, to this day, I still will hate it. A lot of other Mandalorian fans that hate it would be, you know, the change of Mandalore, Mandalorians like in Legends. You know, Karen Travis is doing great with her books. All they had to do is expand upon that. And yeah, still, maybe there were some missions they went to Mandalore for. Or maybe there was, you know, um, I would have been okay if they actually had a area on Mandalore that was specifically for pacifist Mandalorians. And instead of... Obi-Wan going there to, you know, figure out what was going on in the Clone Wars. He'd go there and try to see because, you know, Satine would still be trying to push for the pacifism of Mandalorians, which the rest of Mandalore would not have happened. Plus, they kind of changed the uh, look of Mandalore itself because um, there were forests and stuff. Even though there was a war, a lot of wars, a lot of the wars usually happened, at least in Legends, happened off of Mandalore versus on Mandalore. So, yeah, that's what I'm like... Mm, that's the thing that I, uh, I, I don't know, I just didn't like about. But for the most part, they've still been filling in pretty well with Mandalorians. They've been adding some new things, like they had a Jedi Mandalorian at one time. Um, I think they also took that idea, harkened from the uh, KOTOR timeline. Oh, I am sorry, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm awake, I just, I don't know, I'm yawning. <laughs> but... During the Knights of the Old Republic era uh, of comic books and stuff, there were, like, I think four um, Jedi that went to become Mandalorians, so they became Mandalorian Knights. And I feel like I like that kind of concept. It's not like a big majority of Mandalorians. It's just a small little group of elite Mandalorians that are, you know, <clears throat> that can, like, be recon into like Jedi temples and stuff. They'd be Mandalorian knights per se. That that's kind of what I would be in a way. Um, I'd be true Mandalorian with you know the hint of jet you know force using powers between Jedi and Sith. So, but anyways, going off on that tangent. Um, yeah, for the most part, you know, we've had two really good shows. I know some people may agree to disagree, etc. But we've had two great shows for Star Wars. Being the Clone Wars and then the Star Wars Rebels for this new canon. And uh, I've, I've, I've actually liked it. I've liked the characters. Phoenix Squad was great. They could have been... Some of them could have been be a little better. Like maybe Sabine could have been a little older. Like probably five years older. And then maybe Ezra would be five years older, and then some of her story would make a little more sense. She just feels underage. But then again, I want to do talk about that, though, <clears throat> with Sabine on her age and what she did for the Empire and all that. Um, we're, a lot of people are probably comparing the fact of, uh, from, like, teens, uh, young teens up to, um, you know, young adulthood. Uh, they're comparing it to what our society is. And their society is more advanced. So that means they're, <clears throat> they're, you know, people and stuff, c civilians and 
soldiers, et cetera, are a lot more advanced in thinking. They've gone through different types of schooling that, you know, help them improve, et cetera. So I, I feel like, you know, with Star Wars, some people don't look at the aspect of, you know, their advanced. I still feel like, yes, he's a little too young for that. But I am thinking of, you know, nowadays. Unless you're literally trained to do that kind of stuff from age eight, which Mandalorians technically are trained from uh, age eight to be warriors and stuff. So her being a bounty hunter is plausible. Um, very young, you know, people would uh, uh, be overconfident against that type of bounty hunter, too, because Boba Fett, he was, you know, about that age when he was being bounty hunter. He was between 10 to 14 or so. Uh, something like that, where he was a technical bounty hunter in that young age. So it it does make sense and not. But for the most part, yeah, I've liked the characters. You know, they developed great characters. I feel like Clone Wars animated show did really well with Anakin's character. Yes, there were some dark times, but there wasn't so many cheesy points. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm someone that's a fan of uh, the prequels. I'm a fan of, you know, practically all the Star Wars except kind of the new ones. Except Rogue One. Rogue One made sense to where it was at. But I mean, like, you know, Episode 7. We'll see how Episode 8 9, you know, attached to me. But, you know, how they portrayed Anakin here versus how they portrayed Anakin in the movies. Is, I, I will agree a lot of fans. Anakin and Padme were not portrayed the best. I, I think those were the biggest downfalls of um, the story for <clears throat> Anakin and Padme. Is they could have done a little better. I feel like they could have done a little better. But still, George Lucas did a great job. I'm glad he, you know, brought Star Wars into the universe. All Earth. <laughs> so, but, yeah, so, the reason why I wanted to make this video, I know I kind of did a little backstory of what I liked about these shows. Um, I wanted to talk about the fact of going forward. So, back in April um, 2017, around April or so, they had a Star Wars, um, <clears throat> Star Wars, uh, Celebration, Star Wars Celebration, and there Dave Filoni revealed that season four, the current season going on right now, is going to be the last season. I know I didn't really do a video back then because I wasn't big into videos, and I started my, you know, video making like a month and a half later, and I've been mostly doing Galaxy of Heroes and some magic, but um, with it being said is he said there were more future opportunities for animated shows. A lot of fans have liked the, uh, the, the shows, even though the yes, they're milk for young teen and uh, children. I'm almost 30 and I still watch it. And I'm sure there are some older people that still watch because they're, they do bring some, you know, light into the universe. They, they allow us to kind of see more of what's in the universe. Like, like those scenes where, you know, like on, in, like for example, return of Jedi had a scene where they, you know, panned over a, you know, a herd of bantas. I'm like, that's just, you know, environment building. And, you know, I've liked to see, I've liked what was brought out, but I'm glad they're actually going to be starting more animated shows about, um, different, you know, stories. And that, that excites me. However, I don't know what it's going to be. He said, you know, wait until ep season four is done, you know, focus your heavy mind on season four, but I'm like halfway through season four now because they are on their long hiatus. I wish they at least had another week or uh, like the, uh, today they had one and maybe next Monday and then, you know, then did their hiatus. But you know, this season four is a short season. That's, that is, I'm, that is one thing I'm disappointed, but I'm not going to cover that really. Um, I'll talk about the show rebels and Clone Wars in their own episodes of what I liked and disliked. But for the most part, there's a lot of opportunity for different animated stories to come out. One, the biggest one a lot of fans would probably like, especially the older fans that have loved KOTOR and SWOTOR, Star Wars The Old Republic or Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic series. Having an animated series, you know, do like a four, like, like a six to ten to fifteen season in KOTOR timeline would be phenomenal. We'd be able to cover the times of um, the Malachor battle in the new canon. Now, Malachor 5 from KOTOR, but like a Malachor. But they could also have a Malachor 5 battle similar to Legends with Mandalorians. So they had a Malachor battle for Jedi vs. Sith and then Malachor 5 for Jedi vs. Mandalorians. And then, you know, later on, Jedi vs. Jedi Mandalorians vs. you know, Sith. But, you know, that's 
that's how I feel like that is like probably the biggest one. Number one, a lot of fans, I would be more than enough down for that. So that is number one. Number two, um, actually there was another, um, you know, maybe like a two, maybe four season like Rebels is and do a kind of Galactic Republic time frame to Galactic Empire time frame to New Republic time frame of the Underworld. Star Wars animated Underworld, you know. So we can, this would be a great opportunity to, re, you know, get more depth on, you know, the Hut clans, even though I don't care for, for Huts, but getting more ideas for the Hut clans. Also, sorry, it's raining outside. I'm in my car doing this recording, but yeah. Um, you got Hot Clans, you got the Pike Syndicate, you got the Black Sun, that's like the biggest one. And Legends, it was probably one of the biggest crime syndicates. Um, and then you got one they could bring back because it is specified it's canon, but we have no information on it. And that is the Zong Consortium. I would love to see the Zong Consortium play a similar role to <clears throat> the one, the Zong Consortium in Legends, where they are fighting both Rebels and Empire. You know, and they're focused on being rich. They take over Emperor's, uh, like, the Emperor's uh, Star Destroyer that happens to be above uh, Kuat around the time, you know, just sort of like right after Endor happens. So, because it's a big galaxy. I don't see why they couldn't do that, have that big of a story. And at least if they don't do Zahn's Consortium as a animated show, it'd be great to see as a book, you know, a book. Of course, if they did a uh, Underworld, Underworld might be more for um, mid-teens to y older teens to a little, you know, adult time frame. Uh, because, you know, Underworld does, does seem to be dark. But they, they've done really well with um, Rebels. They could still kind of make it kind of seem that way. Where you have some honorable, you know, uh, pirates and Underworld criminals and some dishonorable ones and honestly it'd be great to see you know hondo make a return to that type of show to you know uh you know tell more of his story what happened to him how how did his you know planet get taken over by the empire um how was he disbanded you know that kind of stuff but one thing one one other thing i did want to mention like that's that is one um another one i actually kind of predict in and my predictions and thoughts and wishes are for is a galactic civil war. Like we asked, we got star Wars rebels, but star Wars galactic civil war could happen, you know, like right after the events of a new hope and go all the way to return of the Jedi. Yes, we do know, um, <clears throat> at least from the little, I don't remember the forces of destiny show, uh, mini shows or whatever that apparently Hera and chopper at least survive until return of the Jedi. If that's actually, it should be, it is considered true canon because it's little mini story segments that have happened. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So Hera survived until Return of the Jedi. So it can easily be shown. Um, yes, there'll be some stories I could see with Hera and Chopper and whoever else survived. But we would also get Imperial stories. Um, Galactic Civil War is a Galactic Civil War. And I can see Galactic Civil War having as many from seven to 15 seasons that would be a pretty big um animated show time so we'd have quite the next seven to ten show um seasons would be just cramp packed full of new contact for the empire you don't even get to see mandalorians and some other um you know what happens to the mandalorians because i could still say mandalorians survive one thing i will say i hate that people say if they weren't in the movie they should not exist or something like that like the Death Troopers, they could easily have just not, you know, been where they were and been off, you know, other areas because Grand Admiral Thrawn can easily survive still and just he'd be on missions in the back in or like the outer rims of the galaxy while, you know, the events of episode four, five and six are happening. But yeah, like these are some of the season, you know, shows I would like to see come about. Um, and honestly, another thing is if they could get it to work where they have Dave Filoni and they kind of get a team trained together and they kind of work together, um, for this next animated project, I would like to see, um, two to three animated, animated shows going off at the same time. Kind of like what's going on with the CW shows, Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow, 
we can easily see that kind of setup where, you know, at least probably three of the show, a couple of the shows, you know, would overlap. But like if they did like KOTOR, KOTOR would be, you know, they would never even touch unless they pull a few, you know, things like they did in uh, Rebels where they pulled the hammerhead, kind of a concept of hammerhead or they went to Malachor in the past. But, <clears throat> you know, there would be some connections like that. But I mean, like like having it to where say like if rebels was still around and they did galactic civil war we'd see rebels um the you know phoenix squad go there and phoenix go, you know but even though they're not doing that anymore but the, the, the point is is just having it to where they have two three show animated shows going on so at least three times a week and i, th I think that's a great money grab for disney um and you know lucas arts stuff like that they would really get a lot of characters developed expand the universe in a whole new way so but yeah that you know that's kind of my thoughts hopes predictions and wishes for um uh you know the animated shows star wars rebel you know from going forward from star wars clone wars and rebels so but yeah i am gonna eventually do it i will admit i'm gonna eventually do a uh two show um two videos one on me my thoughts on the clone wars as an entirety oh, excuse me and then one on the rebels once rebels is finished as an entirety so yeah look forward to that in the next the near next three to five months um as soon as the last episode of rebels hits that's when i'm going to probably do the rebels but for the most part i do want to do the clone wars um you know my thoughts and hopes and you know what I liked and what I disliked, etc. So, but again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about, you know, my thoughts on ideas on the animated shows. What are your predictions and eras of what we're going to see? Um, of course, there are probably going to be some predictions for after Return of the Jedi. I'm, I don't want to see that yet. I, I want, you know, at least to episode nine be done before we, unless they actually do the multiple show setup, then we see the episode nine stuff going on episode between episode six and seven so but yeah again thanks for watching i appreciate all of those that have watched and you guys have a wonderful day